All righty. Thank you so much, everybody. Unfortunately, the Internet's not working, so you'll be watching this uh, uploaded tonight. We're working on getting some rosters here. Somebody did just bring me an Allegheny one. I will have a Tonawanda one. I do have a Tonawanda uh, Bantams one, but unfortunately, I did not quite get... Okay, and just like that, we're underway. <laughs> Trying to darken that scoreboard camera up a little bit for you guys. Hopefully we can see it. We zoomed in a little more. But uh, here we go. Into the offensive zone, the Braves. Gets his hands free, steps into the middle, and just like that, a nice save by the Arrows. Picked up in the corner. Oh, a nice stick check there to knock the ball down. And a possession call. We're going with the ball for the Braves. And you can hear the coaches telling him, get into the middle. Got to get dirty, boys. You got to want it more than the other guys do. It's that simple. He steps into the middle with his hands free, misses just wide left. Oh, what a move and a breakaway. I was trying to let him call all the names on the roster. I hopefully had that turned up loud enough. But wow, a nice breakaway. And with that kind of time, I cannot wait to take another look at this because we are just trying to get a few things ready listening to it. But what a break and a beautiful goal. Number nine. Just comes all the way down. A coast-to-coast -coast goal. And that is... Moses on the goal, Jaron Moses. A beautiful coast-to-coast -coast goal, and just like that, the Braves with the early lead. And hopefully you guys were able to pick all that up as we were going through the game, but Braves on the board and now back in the offensive zone. Transition goal on the last one. They've had a couple of nice shots from the middle of the net with their hands free. Let's obviously hoping to create that magic. Bounce shot and that it was Jaron Moses on the goal. So I was uh, right in the pronunciation and ball goes the other way, arrows coming up the floor. Hits his man, oh, I thought he hit his man. It bounces. Off the boards and into the back of the net. One thing about uh, Tonawanda is we actually do have a chain link fence, so it takes a little different bounce. Uh, one of the places where you really have home field advantage. And here comes Cody Warren. Cody Warren throws it over to Styles Jonathan. One more pass up to ground. Eldon ground with it, stepping down. Eldon ground, great young man. Help me bring my gear up here. Jaron, and, and again, still somehow has the ball. And uh, wasn't quite able to get a clean shot on net, but Jaron Moses, great job maintaining possession. Unfortunately, got himself a little too close, ran out of angle, and then ran out of room. Loose ball into the corner. Pressure from the Braves. 
And Pragel able to scoop it right up. Abrams with it. Matt Abrams shows it over to Jacob Smith. We're going to try to make sure we get all the names learned here before the finals. Nice knockdown and a beautiful pickup by Allegheny. And he's coming down. It's kind of a fast break. Steps into the middle, beats his man all alone. And what a save, Pragel. Tonawanda, pass down low, shot saved by the Allegheny goaltender. Ball being cycled around. Onto the near side, Tonawanda. Good job moving the ball so far. Low shot, score! That's a power play goal for the Braves, and Tonawanda takes a 2 nothing lead. Nice pass up top and all the way over in all kinds of time. Nobody up there to cover him and hear him Watt with that one. Faceoff is down one by Tonawanda. They're going to have the possession. Trying to extend it to a three goal lead. Shot snagged by the Allegheny goaltender. And the Arrows will start their breakout. Allegheny brings it up over the halfway line into the attacking zone. Pass Caroms into the corner. They will all go and fight for the Lucy in the corner. Let's see who comes away with it. And it comes to the Tonawanda Braves. Good hustle shown there by Tonawanda. Here come the Braves. Quick shot. Save. Made by the Allegheny goaltender. Shot went right into the stick of the Allegheny goaltender. Here come the arrows on a break. Quick shot. Save by Brago. Number two for Allegheny on a breakaway, trying to throw some high-low fakes in there, but Jackson Bogle says no. Here comes Tonawanda, quickly back the other way, pass Kate the back. Ball goes into the corner. Picked up by the Braves, and they're going to slow things down and wait for some offensive reinforcements. Thanks so much, Trevor. Always appreciate having you on the mic there. I'm sure it might have sounded a little funny because I had you going through the uh, the camera that you're operating as you're trying to do the game. And I see we missed a couple of highlights. We had a goal and a couple of big saves by Pragel. I think I was able to clip the replays, but uh, as always, thanks. And now here comes Allegheny. Spins to the outside, throws it up top. 
Avery Brown with it. Throws it down. Looking for his man, 11 up top. Look at the pressure Talawanda puts on, but he steps in and Prego makes a save and secures the rebound. Long outlet pass. Oh, almost had it, but instead it goes to the Allegheny. Oh, no. I believe due to that, yes, we're going to push in the back and the Braves are going to have the ball. Nice knockdown, but Allegheny still comes away with the ball. Steps in. Oh, nice defense stepping up. Big play there, 21. Oh, but a delayed call. Shot another big save, Fragle. Take a look here. He came in and hit him. I don't... No, if I saw, okay, so it wasn't on that play. I was going to say, I thought that was a nice hit, and it was. So the, instead, the penalty goes to number eight. Two minutes on the slash, so that must have happened when I wasn't paying attention. We've got Jacob Smith. Allegheny on the power play. Working it around. And see Tanawana still putting some pressure on, but a nice seal set there. He doesn't take the shot. Instead, they work it all the way back around. Near side steps in, rips a shot, misses wide right. Nice pickup out front, though, by Allegheny. Steps in, he misses wide right. And again, it's picked up, and that time it goes off of somebody. But good goaltending will do that. You'll start missing the net. Might have lost it in the sun. Not able to pick it up and it bounces into the crease in the Allegheny goaltender. So we've got Duke Jimerson in that. Oh, kind of gets a little tangled up and the Braves coming back down. Throws a laser of a pass, he can't catch it and instead it goes back to Allegheny who can't catch it again. I don't know if it's the sun playing tricks on the players or just some nerves in this playoff game, but Guys are kind of struggling holding on to the ball. Keep it over, you can hear the coach yelling. So when you are a man down, over and back is a thing. And a nice shot, just kind of gets the reset as the shot clock was winding down. But a rebound picked up, oh, nice trailing check there. Great pressure by the Braves. Throws it across. So they definitely killed some time off there. Got a couple of uh, shots on that. And it had a great opportunity, but a nice defensive effort with the back check prevents them from getting it. And you can hear the shot clock counting down from the coach. Another shot and a big save, Pragle. Tanawanda picks it up, Pragle comes out, sets a nice screen. Eldon Ground with it. Ground hits his man coming off the bench. Redman looking over to the near side. Hits Moses. Moses makes one more pass to Smith. Smith goes to take the shot. I believe that was knocked down by an Allegheny player. So shot clock and Allegheny coming back up the floor. A lot of pressure. You can't just... Hide with it somewhere and try to dish it off to the uh, 
offense as they make their way out of the floor. Braves, very successful kill on that one. Takes a shot, I believe that got deflected off of a Brave and missed the net. Rebound still up for grabs out front. Who wants it more? And Tonawanda doesn't secure it, but they do knock it out of danger and force him to just kind of fling it into the corner. And Cody Warren starts this series off. Throws it to ground, Eldon Ground, one pass across. Steps in like he's gonna take the quick shot. He doesn't, instead it goes back to ground and we've got a moving pick. We're going the other way. And that brings us to the end of the first period. I can't believe it's over already. Wow, it has been amazing. Thanks so much to all the sponsors who get us out here. We really appreciate you. Without you here, we would not be here. Thanks to all the parents who make this happen, all the volunteers, and everybody else who is a part of helping these young men get this opportunity. All right, and we are set to go. Second period action. We played three periods. We did need one. Uh, there was one that went to overtime in the uh, Pee Wees to settle things out in the playoffs. It was pretty exciting. So hopefully we don't do that here because we've got another game that fouls it almost immediately. But, yeah, super excited to, uh, to be out here and be a part of it all. Everybody here is amazing always for us. Really, they're still working on trying to get the internet. It's uh, not an easy thing where we are. If you've ever been out to Tonawanda, if not, you need to get here to watch a game live. This place is amazing. Possession goes to the arrows. Jackson Kraus. Hits Peyton Maybe with it. Peyton Maybe Has it again up top. Throws it down low. Brown. Lehman Brown tosses it back to Maybe. One more pass. Spins around. Shot clock's winding down and too much on the pick. Another solid defensive stand by the Tomahawks. Or by the Braves, sorry. Nice pick up in the corner and maintains possession. Oh, and a goal. A beautiful play. So that was 19 on the, uh, the that was nice. Sir, our Siska on that initial effort and is rewarded with the goal. I got to see that now. 
But yeah, just fights through it. Definitely not an easy possession there heading into the corner, but manages to get it and throws it up top and hits his man down front. And just like that, Lincoln Hill puts him one more goal ahead. It is now 3-0 in the second period. And the faceoff goes to the Braves. Eldon Ground. Hill from Siska on the goal. Oh, not able to hit his man out front. He does go through the crease, but a nice pickup, rebound. And he steps into the crease on the shot. Goy does a good job keeping that stick planted in the five hole. And that's an easy call for the official in front of him. He knows he's got it. It kind of looked like he stepped on his uh, heel, I believe. And great sportsmanship there. You see, he kind of gives him a pat on the shoulder like, yeah, I really wasn't trying to do that. But we also have the advantage of replay that the uh, not everybody gets. But you see the Braves just putting pressure on like they always do. Yeah, goes to step on him. Kind of looks like he steps on his foot there. So Allegheny on the power play again. They've been unable to score, and the Braves have had some great defensive uh, stands on the penalty kill and even a couple opportunities. And you can hear the coach yelling, jump it. They put a lot of pressure on. Nice pickup off the end boards, though. They get the reset, and Allegheny, a nice pickup over on that side. Another big shot and another save, Pragle. Loose ball push, I bet, and we're going to go the other way. So here him Watt, a couple of nice plays down there to get them the ball, but right off the bench he comes, shot, a nice save, Allegheny. It's Duke Jimerson again. So another shorthanded chance for the Braves. And now the arrows come up onto the power play and still putting pressure on. They've got three guys out front. He almost hits one, not able to connect, but they do get a nice bounce and Pragle says that's fine. I got that. Nice pickup by the arrows. Throws it over. Shot, and that went off of somebody from the Braves team, I believe. No reset on that one. They had just gotten a reset before that. Not able to pick it up, and a beautiful pickup off the end, and he's going the other way. Oh. Not quite able to connect, but Jaron Moses now, oh, I thought he was going to have it on that near side, but Siska and him not, not quite on the same page, but they have the possession and they have enough time on the shot clock just about to kill this penalty off. Be a couple seconds left, but obviously charging in now, you'd like to get a shot at the end of the shot clock and a nice save. And back to even strength. Another nice kill for the Braves. And Jaron Moses going to sit for two or less for a cross check. Uh, gave him a cross check that. All right, so back on the power play are the arrows. Rips the shot. Prego makes the save. Loose ball goes into the corner. Nice pickup by the arrows. Not able to hit his man out front, but they pick up the loose ball in the corner. Nice pass. He's got time and space, and it doesn't matter. A beautiful save. Prego comes, keeping his hip just in front of it. Happy to kill some time over into the corner. Ground still has possession, splits him, gets into the middle. Oh, 
Nice play, ground. It didn't quite work out. Shot clock was expiring, but a great kill there, killing a bunch of time off the penalty. Allegheny on the power play. Just gets their rest of the power play out there with a little over 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. And you can hear the coach yelling, shoot the ball, shoot the ball. Not happy with the team for kind of working it around, but here come the Braves. And they've got a three on one. Instead, he wisely waits, doesn't try to force it, sees the guy coming off the bench, and will happily probably kill off the rest of the penalty. As every other time they've had the ball down here, they've been able to kill off at least one shot clock. Gets into the middle, gets the shot. No reset, but a nice pickup off the cage. And just like that, another kill for the Braves. Big collision there. Nice pickup by Maybe. Down to the far side. Move and pick on this side. Oh, a nice move to the inside. Just kind of runs him over, gets a shot, and a goal. A nice goal. Oh, no goal in the crease. We have the benefit of replay. It is a cylinder rule with the kids, I believe, is what they're talking about. So it wouldn't have mattered because he ended up in the crease anyways. But a great effort, and Allegheny now comes back the other way. Nice pickoff. And draws a penalty. A great effort. And that's Chucky Redman. Nah. And the Braves having much better luck on their power play. Although I guess you can't really call it luck. Uh, but just great ball movement. And inside, you definitely can't let somebody inside like that. And uh, no, a great job though. He just kind of sneaks in and caused a little miscommunication. And Chucky Redman with the assist from Jake Smith. It is now 4-0. And possession goes to the Braves. Donawanda battling for the loose ball in the corner. Now pushed up along the far side boards. Ball is picked up by the arrows, and they're going to go back the other way. And the arrows coming up the floor. With some numbers, tries to hit his man off the bench. A beautiful no look. He gets in and a save Pragle. Got to be frustrating for Allegheny. Seems like every opportunity they have, it gets shot down. And not quite able to hold on to it. Oh, but he picks it up out of the crease. So it doesn't count. It's in the back of the net. Would have been nice.
Allegheny coming down. And that's too much. Braves pick up the ball on the defensive side. Hits ground coming off the bench. Ground looking. Shot clock. Hang on, they just want to, they're going <laughs> to, Allegheny tries. And uh, the official says ball's back here. The ref missed the shot clock, should have been a reset. They're going to give it to him. They're going to probably have to pick a time. And Allegheny's going to start with it. Having some uh, shot clock. Shot clock's not working. 10 seconds left. Shot clock's not working. Kudos to the officials. We had one more thing to them now. They're counting it for 10 seconds. Gets in, gets a shot, stick safe. And Allegheny coming down into the offensive side of the floor. Maybe with it. Maybe makes a move, gets to the inside, and then throws it. You can hear the coaches yelling, maybe shoot the ball. Maybe picks it up, though. They're working on the big clock now. They do have the uh, shot clock working again. So that's going. And now they got to work on the big clock. Got some signals. Got some signals a little crossed here, but we're getting it all straightened out. Copping it in them. So they're going to run some time off the clock. 24 seconds on the shot clock. But now it is functioning again. Oh, tries to BTB, misses. Nice move, but the goalie does a better job sticking his stick out and gobbling up that rebound. Oh, what a pickoff by Ground. And Ground throws it up, hits his man, and a shot. A nice five-hole save, and again, he controls the rebound, not letting him get it. Bounce pass. Moses battling with Dowdy in the corner. And Pragel steps out, drags the ball back into the crease. Nice little toss to Moses. Moses, long outlet pass, goes off the end boards. Oh, and it's going to be picked up by the arrows. Picks it up out of the crease, long outlet pass. Hits his stick, but he kind of bobbles it. But Sundown has it now. Sundown looking for a man. Doesn't force it. Instead, keeps possession for his team. Into the corner. Moves it out, gets the shot. Misses the net. They don't get a reset, but Sundown. Another shot. This one's on net. And the rebound is going to be picked up by the Braves, it looks like. Jacob Smith not doesn't get it, but allows Moses to. Moses with a quick pass across, and Redman misses just wide left, but we've got a slash called for... Number 18, Avery Brown. Ground starts with it up top. Working on the 
working in the round. It's back up to the point. Sundown rips the shot. Goalie makes a nice save, keeps himself in position. Picked up by the Braves. He throws it out front. They call a timeout. Braid is lone yesterday, rips the shot, but Allegheny makes the save. So it's not one of those decisions where you're like, oh man, should have let him get that one. We'll be right back in a minute. Thanks to our sponsors. All right, so we're back. 26 seconds left, 20 left on the shot clock. Man up for the Braves. Elden Ground up top. Brown just kind of playing catch with the two guys on the wing. As the shot clock goes down, he sprints in. A nice pass up to Sundown. Sundown and a goal. A beautiful pass. I got to see who that was down in the corner before I go to the replay. Make sure I give them a shout out. So that's Jacob Smith just fires that one up to Sundown. And Sundown able to finish it. A beautiful play. Ground steps right in. Sets the screen, draws the defense down. Sundown acts like he's just setting a pick, and he is wide open. You can see the defense just followed him down. Nice shot, Sundown. You see, it wasn't 1,000 miles an hour, but it was a super accurate shot. And huge shout-out to the sponsors. We will be right back.
All right, so we are back. Huge shout out to Woody Seneca and Renee Smoke and everybody in the area who has made this possible. We really appreciate all the support, as do all these young men and all their relatives who will get to see these games because of that. Allegheny with the opening possession. And a nice knockdown, and we're going the other way. Ground, nice play, still has the ball. Battling for it. Splits him, steps over one, draws the triple team. Eldon, ground, how? Oh, but then the pass is picked off by Hiram Wyatt. And you can hear the coach telling everybody to start moving. The Braves doing a good job keeping everybody out of the front of the net, though. I mean, Prego has a wide open view to that, to the shot, no matter where it's going. Nice save. Oh, a nice pickup, though. Hits his man coming off the bench. Jonathan, one more pass down low. It goes back up to Jonathan. Jonathan steps to rip it and misses. Goes through the crease. And just like that, the Braves get the ball again. Abrams with it in the corner. Abrams, Redman. Sundown. Nice move. Oh, nice little behind the back flip to the inside and a better save. Oh, beautiful play and he's all alone and uh, yeah, he's gonna have some explaining to do to his teammate on that one. I know you set me up pretty good there. And Allegheny trying to come down. Messiah ground with it, trying to create a spark, help the offense get something. But Tonawana does a good job. And the Braves end up with the ball again. Back down into the offensive zone. Jonathan with it. And they call move and pick on ground. We're going the other way. Allegheny sprinting, trying to make something happen. They've got a two on one. He's got a trailer coming from the bench. Instead, he spins around and passes it up to maybe. Nice pass into the middle and he just misses. Pretty nice look for Allegheny. But the ball goes the other way, and Jaron Moses coming up. Into the crease, Allegheny ball. Allegheny hits his man coming off the bench. Snyder with it. 
Snyder fakes the first pass and then throws it over to Dowdy. Dowdy passes it to the middle, nice shot. Quick save, Pragel. And the Braves defense does a good job coming up with the loose ball. At least it looked like they did, and nope, they are going to have it. Sundown only had it for a second, but Holland comes away with it. Cooper Holland gets a big screen from Sundown, yeah. <laughs> and you hear the coach yelling, push it, push it, let's go, boys, get down there. And... Nice, alone off the pipe. Ball goes to Allegheny, into the front, and Pregel again, and this time Pregel controls the rebound. Two minutes on the trip. Avery Brown, I think that's his third penalty of the game. They're going to give some water to the goalies. We would like to thank Woody Seneca and Renee Smoke. Pick it up, these sponsorships. Really appreciate it, as do all of these young men. And just like that, back underway, ready to go. Ground gonna start with it up top. Nice rip and a nice save. Another nice bounce shot, goalie comes up with it. That one might've gotten hung up in his jersey actually. Might have kept the uh, hip on it, but both those last shots going hip height. <laughs> Throws the first bait, spins around, gets to the inside, driving, and shoots just wide right. But I've said it time and time again, prego has been playing great. You get down there, you start thinking too much, and Allegheny comes away with the ball. Tall Chief with it. Tall Chief gets into the middle. Oh, what a play, Tall Chief, but a better save, Pragle. And it hits him in the face mask, so they get it back. Nice play, Tall Chief. Force, just kind of forces his way into it. Trying to make anything happen at this point. Get him on the board as time is winding down. Rips it and a goal. And so that's going to be Redmond from ground. Ground steps down like he's going to shoot, and that's all I needed was that half a step. And you see they kind of leave him all alone over there. He's got time. He's got space. Takes a little shot afterwards, but a nice goal. Brown gets the last assist, takes the face off. Redrop. <laughs> happened uh, happened at the, the playoffs in uh, Cataragas. Somebody didn't come out of the box, and it was for a good, like, 30 seconds. And I think you guys actually scored. I want to say it was the Braves team that scored because somebody didn't come out. Oh, nice pickup by Ground. And I tell you, Eldon Ground has been a blast to watch. Hat trick for Chucky Redman. And Jared Moses on the assist, he's had a good game too. But picked off by Allegheny, and here comes Jackson Kraus, who steps in, tries to BTB and Pragle, another big save. Sprints all the way around with it. Oh!
Thankfully, he just pops right up, though. Beast mode. And you can see Sundown definitely knew he was. They just take one on top of it that I missed. What happened? On sports? Oh, run! Aha! On sportsman like. I've seen that a time or two. I've never seen the ref change his call though. Two minutes on sportsman like, and two minutes rough. Take a look at that real quick. He's running at him, and the kid just kind of spins as he's going in for the cross check. Uh, so they just give him two minutes on that. Could have been dangerous. Sundown, you can see, kind of pulled up. That could have been uh, much worse. But the right call there for the officials. The unsportsman like that will help the team get on the board here with uh, five minutes to go. And now they get the ball. So they switch possession because it was a dead ball foul, so they don't get possession is what I just believe I heard the ref explaining. It is one of my favorite parts about being here, though, sitting in between the benches. You can hear what the coaches are yelling. You get to hear the official when he explains it to them. Honestly, if you guys could just put a big lampshade up there for the sun, I think this would be perfect. No, we don't want to make it go away. We do like it. I would never wish that. <laughs> oh, nice pickup, and he steps in. Holds on to it, goes all the way across. I tell you, Pragel has them all second guessing everything, missing the net, and now we're going the other way. Oh, big save by Duke Jimerson, who's had a bunch of his own nice saves. This game could definitely have a, a bunch more gate or a bunch more goals for the Braves. Look at that pressure! Look at that stick check! And Siska. What a workhorse. He's got a goal, not giving up at all. Look at Siska go. But Allegheny comes down with some numbers, rips a shot, and Pragel. Big save. Hits his man, stepping into the middle, rips a shot, misses wide left. Brown picks up his own rebound off the end boards, comes in. Dips it back up top. One more pass. Rips the shot and Pragel again. But rebound goes right into an Allegheny player stick and they have it. Stepping down, Snyder. Snyder rips another shot, misses high. Trying anything they can to uh, get one past Pragel. And Memphis Sundown, good job fighting for it. So they're gonna give the ball to Braves, and here we come into the offensive side. And just like that, a goal. Trying to check out a couple of things, and uh, while I had my head down, another one. And was that Redman again? So I think Chucky Redman, that's four goals for him. And I would say that's probably the dagger in this game. Not that, I mean, we were starting to get that way anyways, but what a shot. Just rips it. And you could tell the goalie thought he had position, but Redman obviously saw something he wanted there. They're not ready. Yep, yeah, didn't make it to the circle in time, so we got to watch a little bit more of that celebration, and then we got to see them uh, take a quick shot. And under three minutes to play in the third period. Clark with it. Adam Clark just fights his way through. Oh, look at the defense, though. So. I tell you, this Braves team, a ton of pressure. And he still has it. Is there anything this young man doesn't do? Well, didn't didn't bury that one. He's got four, though, and playing solid. Two-way job. And right there, Styles Jonathan. Nice knockdown with his body in position. Ball goes off of it. Ball goes out of the corner. You get to see him telling, play on, play on, reset. He, ref doing a great job making sure he's been paying extra attention to that shot clock. And here comes Styles Jonathan. Jonathan forced into the corner. Whips it across, it goes off an arrow. Shot clock violation. Krause picks it up in the corner. Get one, 
Allegheny still trying to figure out the puzzle that is Pragel. Spins around to the inside. Gets in. Time, space, tries to BTB. I believe that went off of Brave, but I think that's Tall Chief who just picked it up. Tall Chief takes the shot as the shot clock was going down, but wow. A great opportunity in front. Defense steps in the way of it, though, and prevents it from going, and here comes Ground. Eldon Ground with the ball. Huge shout out to uh, Stuber, Jonathan, and Ground. Those uh, three young men helped me carry all the stuff up here to get this recorded today. Really appreciate all that. Stepping down, tries to rip one, and Pragel with a glove save. Got a shot clock left in the game. And they're going to call it, and they're going to give possession to the Arrows. As the clock is still going down, the Arrows trying to get at least one more opportunity. Steps in, rips it, bounce shot, Prego makes a save, and just like that, too late. Crease, doesn't matter. Wow. Jackson Prego, sir, great job. A shutout. You don't get to see, I, I've only, I don't, no, I might have seen one, but I don't know if I have ever seen one. This might be the first. Huge shout out to them. We're going to keep this camera running to get the handshake and get these guys celebrating a little bit. Huge shout out to the sponsors. we really like to thank Woody Seneca, Renee Smoke. Really appreciate that. Great job. And they got to be so excited because the championships are here on August 3rd, and they will be representing... Their local program, and the Pee Wees also made it, correct? I believe the Pee Wees made it from when I was there, and it's going to be great. We will see them there. Good luck to whoever wins the next game, trying to figure out Jackson Pragle and the pressure that is the Tonawanda Braves defense. Thanks, everybody, so much.